Hey there everyone, Atesh here, back again with another video and welcome to the React Native series. In case you are new here, consider hitting that subscribe button and a big shout out to Hashnode for sponsoring the entire series. So, so far we have built three apps, learned a lot of things about building mobile apps, facing the bugs, resolving them, and it's a quite fun journey. So far, three apps are in, on, in your portfolio already. It's time to build the fourth app. And this one is going to be fun. It's a small app again, uh, because till the fifth app, we are considering the small apps first, uh, learning about the features. And then one by one, we'll explore more features that are available in mobile, like there's a camera, there's sound, there's haptic feedback and whatnot. There's a lot of things. So next app, we are targeting similar kind of a thing. I'll show you that in this video, that what we are about to build and what we'll be learning. Our focus is one at a time. So one feature at a time is our focus and we'll be showing that. So let me first show you that what we are about to build and then I'll give you a step ahead that you can go ahead of me and try to build this app. Share it uh, with us in our Discord, which is in the description and take help from other community or inspire them with that. So let me show you what app we are building. So this is the app that we'll be building. And of course, there is an assignment included with that. I'll give you that as well. Uh, it looks really simple, a very basic app that you click on the button and it rolls the dice. It looks really simple to you, but we are learning two things here. The first one is how to handle images. Images looks really simple, but there is a way, an optimized way to handle them in the React Native world. And on top of that, one thing that I cannot demonstrate to you in the video is haptic feedback. Yes, in this app, we are going to learn about haptic feedback, that how you can include a little bit of a haptic feedback like vibration motor which is available in all devices ios and android and how you can use a light haptic feedback a hard haptic feedback and all of that so every single time we do a roll the dice it gives you a haptic feedback that would be fun and i'll show you what packages we are including what packages we are using we'll learn a little bit about behind the scene of the basics and how it is being done so let me show you that also it's pretty simple and easy so we are using this package react native haptic feedback you can try this out uh, there are a couple of bugs in this uh, uh, package. We will show you that how you can actually resolve them and how, how to go with all of this. So this is the package. In case you want to go ahead of me, that's great. Uh, but tomorrow I'll post another video, which will be uh, going ahead and we'll do everything on the, on the go like this. Uh, so first, let me go ahead and create a new project itself. So I'll just go up here and let's go into desktop. Then we have this React Native. Uh, we have a lot of apps up here. So we have first awesome app, then we build uh, this second one. Where is the second one? Styler. Then we had this password generator. And finally, we have this uh, simple and amazing app known as Roll the Dice. So how we go ahead and create this uh, new project? Pretty simple. Let me go ahead and create this new project. We're going to go ahead and say npx react-native. I'm pretty sure you now know how to create a package or the new uh, project itself. And we're going to go ahead and initialize this one. And let's call this one as roll the dice. And this one is our fourth portfolio app. If you have been following this uh, entire series so far, you already know that how far we have came in. We did not have uh, in the start of this app, we didn't had even a single portfolio project. Now we have fourth one and we are learning so much haptic feedback already. This is so good and so nice. So let's go ahead and initialize this project up here. And this will download the template and all of that. I'll set up my uh, locale.properties file as well, because in the iOS world, it doesn't automatically create that. Maybe for Windows, it does. Oh, but you get the idea. We have already discussed that. Also, join our Discord so that we can have get started. One last thing. Before you go ahead and conclude this video, in case you try to build this app and you get a success in that, go ahead and write an article about it that what was your learning experience while building this app for haptic feedback. Write this article on Hashnode, share it with us on Instagram, LinkedIn, and on our Discord server. And there is also uh, some nice uh, goodies and everything. Uh, looks like some errors. Uh, looks like we got some issues. Let me go ahead and check this quickly. Uh, looks like we are having roll the dice. Ah, no issues. We have rolled the dice. So let's go ahead and have the roll the dice. Do a quick LS. And we have nothing. So we need to run this again. Let me go ahead and go one directory up back. Looks like there is some network issue going on. Uh, happens. Let's go ahead, work on with that. Ah, this device directory already exists. So let's go ahead and remove this. Roll the dice. There we go. Oops. Forgetting a lot of things. <laughs> happens with each one of us. Let's recursively remove that and have this. Downloading the template. Sometimes my internet becomes a little bit unstable. So probably that's the issue of this. 
Anyways, we have created three projects already. You already know how to create the project. So let's go ahead and catch up in the next video.